All right. Good evening, all. Good evening, all. Welcome into a Friday night stream of Elder Scrolls Online. We are on. Minthera, and we are in search of Elthelia. So we, I think we may have found her. Oh, we got people coming in. Welcome in, welcome in all. Glad you're here, glad you're here. It's just been a real tough week so far. And I'm glad it's Friday. I'm glad the week is done and over with. Done with work for the week. Done with... The bosses done with stupid users just totally done so I am having a Tolomar do whiskey tonight treating myself for a long week and I've changed my streaming setup a little bit too and I'm using an older DSLR camera to stream through so just going to kind of see how it goes uh, I think I have everything synced up as best as I can tell so we'll just have to kind of see uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to Craglorn and we're going to pick up the quest oh we have no locations over there that's okay uh, we're gonna pick that up. It's an event that's going on And See if we can get there somehow And there's where there's a will there is a way So luckily I'm a member of four guilds and there's always somebody in a zone that I need to go to So, like I said, it's been a very long week. Oh, welcome in, all. Welcome in. And where are we? Oh, okay, not bad. And this is uh, kind of a higher level zone. Even though it's one Tamriel, the, the nasties are just everywhere now, though. So... But this, this is a little event quest that's really quick to do, so we're going to do that real quick. And, uh... Who do we have out? Oh, we got the demon chicken out. We're not going to turn the demon chicken in. So, I added some, ex I added some stuff. So, appreciate everybody that has subscribed. Everybody that has watched the... Endless YouTube ads and the endless Twitch ads. So I was able to. The path to good fortune is muddy. Zenithar teaches that the first step toward wealth begins by putting on your boots. Hard work. Yep. Honest work. So I was able to buy a, a new light to give, you know, a little more light on the face. Ah, yes. I am a traveling priest. Seeking to inspire the minds of both young and old to live a fulfilling life by learning skills and trades for self-sufficiency Hard work and perseverance enrich the mind the body and the soul We present offerings that reflect our skills to honor his wisdom One of my skills is basket weaving and this season. I want to weave a basket worthy of my God I could use some help gathering what I need to create it. Might you assist me? Sure, we'll help you out. No problem. But as I was saying, uh, I appreciate everybody that hangs out, lurks, and everything like that, and people that sit through the commercials and stuff. It actually allowed me to um, uh, get a get a um, adjustable light for lighting effects and stuff like that. Yeah, and it just sits right on top of my monitor and I was noticing that I was looking awfully blue and pale in my videos so I am a master weaver but my skills at the hearth are sadly lacking luckily Zenithar teaches us to collaborate with others if you could make baked apples enough to fill a basket he would surely be most pleased the humble apple 
With a little work, it can be transformed from a common fruit into a glorious dish. What better dish is there to sanctify he who revels in the common folk? Baked apples, unassuming yet delicious. They're the offering we need. Right? So anyway, I appreciate everybody that, that that's, sits through that stuff. And... Um... So right now I, I've kind of got a, got the camera going, the DSL DSLR camera, and I got the new light going. So I, you know, hope hope it's going well. Hope I look decent, and uh, you know I'm gonna watch this probably tomorrow after everything's done and over with. So. If you have need of the recipe, there's a wonderfully friendly chef in the tavern just over there. She has the knowledge you seek. The Lord of Commerce and Trade smiles upon anyone willing to compensate others for their expertise. Right? You can come across a barrel or perhaps a sack of apples quite easily. Trading with friends or merchants for goods will also surely please Zenithar greatly. I just hope I have the recipe. If not, we can just buy it. Uh. Find everything to Okay. Oh, we'll mind that. We'll go ahead and learn it. There we go. So, I don't know if Avalanche is gonna be joining us tonight like he normally does. He has not been feeling well. He, he, uh, we think he has a pretty nasty ear infection. Ah, the breeze. I'll take the, I'll need something else, friend. And, um, his balance is all off. So it's pretty much either going to be one of three things, is what the vet said. It's either going to be a nasty, a really nasty, nasty uh, ear infection, or it's going to be a tumor on the ear, or it's a polyp on the inner ear canal pressing up against the uh, um, eardrum and stuff. So we're leaning more towards the nasty ass infection with a work ethic like that you have to a tool it was stolen now the weavers of this town bless another all when there is zenithar looks favorably upon stigthar is extreme because you know cats have a really strong immune system but every once in a while what will happen is they'll get it'll it'll uh, have an issue yeah and he, he he basically got an infected infected like tonsil and then it like went up into his his um ear so this is what we're, this is what we think happened yeah because i had the carpets um cleaned last Friday In a big family you have to know how to scrap and here to reclaim something I took or bring me more trinkets get back you betcha huh. you're better than I you think you beat great clothes let here, me your let's combine strength get out of that I remember, she, she's only like, she's a baby too. No one stands in my way. Yeah. Yeah. We'll laser beam him. Yeah. 
Come on, collect. Piece of shit. So, basically what the doc and I think happened is we I had the carpet cleaned on Friday. It's all pet friendly and green and everything like that. But when you clean the carpet, all that nasty bacteria and everything comes to the surface and everything like that. Well, the dread lady described you well. Well, after the carpets were all done, everybody was walking on them, myself, Avalanche, Duke, and so forth and so on. And um, what we're thinking is that when Avalanche cleans his paws and everything like that, that's, he got like a double dose of bacteria that's really bad, really bad bacteria. And his immune system just couldn't deal with it. So it basically went from his you know, him cleaning his paws. I prepared the wood and am to... ready to weave it into a basket. Were you successful? Xenathar be praised. The all's rich. I was. What yes. With the Our work for the Xenathar, we have toiled, traded, and talked. Please accept our offering as a sign that your teachings reached our humble ears. Yeah, we're going to burn that real quick so we can get done with this quest. I believe Xenathar is pleased with our effort. Precise. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah, efforts yeah. will not be forgotten. In rain or spotless sky, our All right, goodbye. Your hands know the value of hard work. Come here, dear heart, and listen to what I have to say. Uh, no thanks. Uh, let's see. How many, how many event tickets do we have? Uh, five? Okay, let's see if we have this pet. Um, Daedric. Well, I don't think we have him yet. Um, Check on uh, fragments here real quick. Fragments, fragments, collections. We don't have any. Oh, we do. Well, well I guess we got him somehow, somewhere. So that's one of the pets you can get this year. Um, gonna go back to the pet. I wonder, do Daedra keep pets? And I don't just mean things they've enslaved. Alright. So what we're gonna do is let's see, Undaunted Mages Guild. Hmm. We'll buy one of those. So what we think happened is Avalanche yeah. is one of those cats that really likes to keep himself clean. So what we think to ride. a book you mean cart the goods up a road that's crawling with sand warriors and wild creatures to a school where they lob off the heads of the unworthy no thank you i'll just wait here someone's bound to show up eventually did we make it into apocrypha uh, no we're we're the gold road we're we're back to west Wheeled. So yeah, let me finish up talking about Avalanche here. I only can do one thing at a time here. Uh, so basically what we think happened is he really kept his claws clean and paws cleaned and stuff like that. And he basically 
got a double dose. Got a double dose of bacteria that just hit him really hard, and now he's got a really bad ear infection. And um, exciting, fulfilling work. Join the old Mary Dominion. And, and the reason why we think that also, at least the reason why I think that, is he's been on, on antibiotics since um, Wednesday, and every day he gets a little bit better. Like, for example, yesterday, after I took him to the vet, Wednesday, like sorry, Wednesday, after I, I from a big family, yeah. so it reminds me of home. took him to the vet and we gave him some antibiotics at the vet, he uh, would not let me near his one ear that was having problems. I mean, he would just, you know, bat my hand away. And this morning, uh, he actually let me scratch behind it without any, um, without him batting my hand away. So I think he's, I think he's slowly coming around. Signal one ready. So. I think he's getting better. He got another dose of antibiotics this morning before I went to work. And um, it, he totally is letting me pet behind the scratch behind his ear right now. So I, I, I think he's getting better, but as he's on a 20 day regimen of antibiotics at least. So poor kitty cat. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and continue. This. We'll talk to this guy. Well, at least she's finally talking. That's better than I ever managed. I hope you told her to get out of here. My remaining customers are starting to talk about settling their bill and finding someplace less strange. Uh, let's see. Ethelia mentioned a drink called Sage's Dream. She wants you to make it for her. I knew she wanted a drink. But Sage's Dream? Never heard of it. And I've memorized every recipe in every edition of the Innkeeper's Helper. Wait, I just remembered. We might be in luck yet. The previous owner left junk all over the courtyard. I've been sorting through it and noticed a book on obscure and ancient drinks. Maybe it contains a recipe for Sage's Dream. Go back there and find that book. All right, let's go find the book. Gilredal's Book of Obscure and Ancient Spirits. That's the book's name. Search around the courtyard behind the inn. Oh, also, try the outbuilding in the far back. I found junk in there, too. Bring me the book, and we'll see if it has the recipe we need. All right, you're right. Let's just go find the damn book. So this is Athalia. We've been looking for her. She looks a little uh, worse for the wear. She needs a drink too. I think Minthera needs a drink also. I think we all do. This week has just been, this week has just been uh, brutal. familiar huh huh like a worm like like uh, a tadpole in somebody's head yeah get away don't want no more tadpoles mm. 
Uh, we'll just go over here. Mm. I think there it goes. Turn it into something. Don't know what. Nice shot. All right, let's go find this other book. You. Mm. Oh, I think it's over here. That thing looks like something I uh, blew out of my nose this morning. More worms. More mind player tadpoles. We'll get rid of them too. Nice shot. See that, that was a that was a homing lightning bolt. There we go. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. So I, I made the qualifications for Twitch partner. You know, stream X amount of hours and per day and everything, and then you then you apply for it. And they want like a whole entire like resume or dissertation why you should become a Twitch partner. So I did that, you know, and uh, <laughs> came back and they said, oh, I need you to apply again later. So they basically rejected my application and uh, doing some reading online about it. And basically they said, oh, you need to have high standards, you need to set good examples, you know, you need to be, uh, 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 you know, high standards in the community and so forth and so on, everything like that. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother to apply again because, you know, I, I just don't meet those high standards, you know. <sighs> hey. I have high standards for whiskey, okay? This Telemar Dew is a really good whiskey. So, that's a high standard right there. But, yeah, you know, I, I guess it would be nice, but I, I've learned a lot on my since I started streaming and everything and um, gosh it's been 18 months since I've started almost and I tell you I, I'm learning new things about it all the time such as uh, lighting you know using a DSLR a camera one I've had for a while I, I, I hope I hope the stream turns out well tonight because this is the first time I'm actually using it and I hope the camera doesn't overheat and shut down but if you want to read up on what you need to do for streaming and stuff I, I'll just flat out say it okay um, all these tutorials and videos and everything that twitch puts out saying all you need is a, a microphone and a webcam or just a webcam with a microphone well let me tell you they're full of shit you're, you're definitely going to want to get a good webcam to start off with and you're definitely going to want to get a have a good microphone um i've i've got i have on order a 
Blue Yeti on order because I got a really good deal on it. And I'm gonna see if I can get that hooked up. Problem is, is I'm running out of USB ports on my computer. <laughs> so, but yeah, it requires more than what they really lead on. And most of it is just um, time. She hasn't moved once since you left. I tried talking to her, but she only muttered quietly to herself. I'd almost feel bad for her if I wasn't losing sales. Oh, did you find that book on obscure drinks? An alien drink? Odd. This inn was built on alien ruins. Just a coincidence. Tiram weed, hark fruit juice, loot berries. I've never even heard of these ingredients. I can mimic that flavor profile, though. Just need some substitutions. I need to think about it. Uh, maybe some frost minium? Oh, some lotus might work. In the meantime, I need to make some syrup. Go to the cellar and grab some sugar. I'll keep thinking about this until you get back. Reproducing a sage's dream sounds like a fun challenge. It'll certainly take my mind off of what's happening to my inn. You'll find stairs to the cellar in the room behind you. It opens up into an old ruin, but don't mind that. Never. I've learned about drinks from across Tamriel, and none of these ingredients sound familiar. But that won't stop me. Maybe we can bring this drink back into popularity. Exactly. Your cellar connects to old ruins. Oh, sure. You'll find these old ruins all across Colodia. The first owner built the inn on top of some. Whoever dug out the cellar broke through into ruins and just left it that way. I use it for storage now. All right, let's go get this guy's water for him. Uh, I think it's this way. Nope. But, um, yeah, it, it's... Like I said, I have learned a lot. And just with streaming, lighting, and video editing, and content editing, and stuff like that, it's just not sit down and stream. It's uh, sit down, stream, make sure you get good content, make sure everything lines up right, and you look decent. You know. But something hides here. I feel its hatred thick and sour. Perhaps I can call it to us. This horrid relic rose from the ground. I need to talk. Yikes. Oh hey, hey lady. When you left, I was compelled to follow. I saw an image of you entering this chamber, and I knew I had to be here with you. But then this awful lamp appeared, rudely popping out of nowhere. I hate the damned thing! Right? I don't blame you. I don't like light either. You know, I, I'm, 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 I'm an IT guy. We're... Not allowed to go outside much. So, uh, why do you hate this lamp? You know, I really wish they would let her be one of our companions, you know? The storm in my head, remember? I cannot focus through all the overlapping parts. I think this damned lamp was used against me, but I cannot understand how. Could you pick it up? I wished to examine it, but could not stand holding the horrid thing. 
All right, I'll get the lamp. Dang, she's kind of kind of buff, you know. Okay. Over here, I sense a path that wishes to be explored. Shine the lamp, please. many parts step through and I will follow all righty here we go we do that a lot in these games my power abandons me here I will follow if I can that lamp led us onto the many parts but why would the lamp bring us here and why do I hate it so much Perhaps the answers lie at the end of this path. In the inn, my power surged, but I could not control it. Here, it feels distant, like there is a conflict. As if my power does not know to join me, or to join another. Oh. I must try to resolve this. You go on. I shall join you when I can where we were but now along a different path that is the nature of the many paths they can carry you to new possibilities new realities but the rest eludes me why this path why this reality i should be able to see but i cannot all right baby we'll take care of it we got you covered The enemy approaches. They come to imprison my prince. No, Torvazad. They are... different. Approach, Pathwalker, and speak with me. I recognize this place. Mortals worshipped me here. Oh, dang! I like that outfit. A mortal pathwalker. Such a creature is quite rare. And I see you are accompanied by one of my reflections. An Athelia from a different path. You carry something else with you. It feels like... Hatred. Tell me. Why have you come to my reality? Ah, the other Ithelia can't control her power. She's a threat to my reality. This lamp led us here. I like those wings. Just put those wings in Boulder's Gate 3. The Lamp of Clarity. A relic created to hunt me and my unseen. It carries a spark of its creator, Azora, within. That gives it a bit of awareness. It must know that your Ethelia poses a threat. But why lead you to me? Ithelia asked for a drink called Sage's Dream. She thinks it will help bring her clarity. Ah. Sage's Dream is the mortal name for our connection to the many paths. It manifests as a drink, but is brewed from ingredients infused with my very own essence. Drinking it will reconnect my reflection to the many parts and stabilize her power. Where do I get the ingredients? They bloom in my shadow, or in the shadows of other Athelias. Each part's ingredient is unique. You can find Tyramweed here, but the rest grows in other realities. Take what you need, Pathwalker. Then you must leave before my fellow princes arrive. What's going on here? This is my end, Pathwalker. Hermaeus Mora has declared me a threat to reality and comes to imprison me. 
I am tired of fighting. It is the same on every path I have examined. If this is my fate, so be it. Take my tyram weed and go with my blessing. The Prince of Fate foresees a cataclysm approaching. I used my ability to manipulate the many paths to prevent one disaster. But now Mora sees my efforts as the predecessor to something even more terrible. He feels he must imprison me. And I agree. Why would you agree to imprisonment for something you haven't done yet? Do not fear, mortal. I have a plan. My scions will one day set me free, after I have had sufficient time to figure out how to avert the disaster Mora predicts. Hmm. Can I ask you about the many paths? How strange. A mortal who walks the many paths without understanding them. Between that, keeping company with my reflection and bearing the lamp of clarity, you intrigue me. Very well. Ask your questions. Okay. The mortal mind is limited. Intentionally so. Comprehending the many paths should overwhelm you. And actually traversing them should be impossible. I can barely do that. You are unique among your kind. Thus the title I give you. Pathwalker. Why do you mean intentionally so? Mortals are servants performing tasks to maintain reality. Every field plowed, child born, or war fought keeps the Orbis stable by design. This fact is kept from them. The slaves should not understand the Master's plan, lest they seek to undo them. Mm. Most mortals quake in fear at my presence, or demand one boon or another. But all you seek is knowledge. <laughs> Interesting. Ask your questions then, Pathwalker. Uh-oh. Hope my camera's still going. I think uh, I think it might have overheated, but we'll just keep going, and I'll just keep talking. It still shows video, so got my laptop over here. I'm just, my mug is still on it, so we'll just we'll just keep going. Can you tell me anything about the Ithelia from my reality? I suppose so. If she's lost control of her power, then she needs someone to stabilize her. It seems she chose you for this task. The more information you have then, the better. Once Hermaeus Mora chose my fate, he recruited other Daedric princes to aid in my capture. Azora answered his call by creating the Lamp of Clarity. Mm. Its light exposes my location on a path, or, as you have seen, reveals doorways to the many paths. I am as curious as you. Perhaps it does not aid you, but only appears to. Azura's essence may have a purpose of its own, and you are only along to see that purpose fulfilled. I hope you find your answer as you continue your journey. Alright, let's see. Can you explain more about the Sage's dream? The Many Paths connects all Athelias across all realities. This bond can weaken over time causing distress to an Athelia. We developed a means to reintegrate called Sage's Dream. It manifests as a drink to consume. 
But this is only an illusion. Oh, what do you mean? The ingredients grow in an Athelia's shadow. They form from our essence. We each produce only one ingredient. Mixing these ingredients melds the essences from many Athelias. When imbibed, we take in the power of our reflections. How will this help my Athelia? When she drinks Sage's dream, she takes in the combined essences of her reflections. She gains their understanding of her power. Your Athelia will reconnect to the many parts and regain control of her power. Okay, nice. An extended separation from the many paths, perhaps. Oh, yes, I see it now. Your Athelia already suffered more as punishment. Her power was stripped from her when she was locked away. She needs to calm the storm as her power seeks to return to her. Got it. Most mortals quake in fear at my presence. Or demand one boon or another. But all you seek is knowledge. <laughs> Interesting. Ask your questions then, Pathwalker. How strange. A mortal who walks the many paths without understanding them. Between that, keeping company with my reflection and bearing the lamp of clarity, you intrigue me. Okay. Very well. Ask your questions. Not in any way your mortal mind would understand. I do not wish to drive you mad. An analogy, perhaps. Picture a diamond that somehow formed around a spider web, interweaving lines within a grander, fixed shape. That is the many parts. Fine. How do they work? Possibilities scatter across the orbis. Each defined mm. by distinct choices, with unique outcomes that lead to new realities. The many paths are the web that binds them. Some can traverse these connections, as you have done here. And you control the many paths? Control? No. But I have the power to see them, to follow their threads and alter their fates. It is one of the things that Hermaeus Mora respects about me. And the one thing he fears the most. Gotcha. Why did you call the Athelia from my path a reflection? Each reality bound by the many paths contains a version of an entity, mortal, or Daedra. They each differ in some way, but each springs from the same seed. I am no different. She and I are the same, but distorted, like an image in a cracked mirror. Okay. Ooh, that was a long dialogue. Let's talk to our Athelia here. Athelia. She is a reflection of me. She knew about Sage's dream. My followers praised me in this chamber while I drank from a goblet. Gather the tyram weed that she offered so we can make the drink. Yes, dear. Another Athelia. So powerful and proud. Collect the ingredient and let us go back, mortal. Here. I offer you a path home. Take it with my blessing. Thank you very much. Thanks for the insta transport. Ooh, wow. That was cool. That was some cool shit. A new path appears. Use the lamp, mortal. Mind flare. Tadpole. We'll talk to her first. So much of the path we just walked was familiar to me. The shrine, my scions. I remember it now. 
when Hermaeus Mora and the others arrived. Took my power. Locked me away. I had a plan as well, but I do not remember just surrendering like that. If you didn't surrender, what did you do? I... I sent Torvasard and the other Scions away. They had to remain hidden, free to act when the time was right. The rest... is still unclear. We learned much on that path about the Lamp of Clarity and Sage's dream. Alright, we don't need to sit through. Well, maybe. So much of the path we just... I... Ingredients to create the drink grow in the shadow of all Ethelia's. Right. The drink, as am I. Hopefully, we learn oh. more as we travel. The last path was clarifying, but I still feel overwhelmed. I am no more in control of myself than I was before. Okay, let's get the next one. Step through. Let us see where this path takes us. I, I think Athelia would be an interesting companion to have along, you know? Dread fills this path. Find the ingredient, but use caution. We are not welcome here. Oh, they're all hostile. 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 <sighs> It's a good thing I'm um, in there does cardio every day every other day of the week You know My shot born They always served me well Yeah, it looks like they got taken out pretty bad Looks like they took a header Damn, these guys are good. They one shot them. These shelves were full in our reality, not ransacked like this. Uh, I think this this guy is using a cheat or something. Cause he he's just one shotting all these. The shrine appears old, decayed. What happened here? No idea. They're coming for us. Well, I like the glowy thingies. Have Mora's forces finally come? Then I am finished. No. You do not belong here. But a reflection of the Prince of Paths travels with you. Have you come to revel at my defeat? To watch Hermaeus Mora imprison me? How? Shameful that I attract a mocking audience. Get on with your gloating then. Dang, she upset. She pissed. Uh, we're not here to gloat. I need a sage's dream so the Ethelia of my reality can control her power. Of course she lost control of her powers. All Ethelias are fragile creatures. They break under the slightest pressure. Just like glass. How? Did you get here? If my reflection cannot control her power, how did you walk the many paths? This lamp of clarity opened the way. It's leading us to Sage's dream ingredients. My shardborn should gut you. Whether you intend it or not, this humiliates me even more. An item of my ruin born by a reflection who walks free. If it will get you to leave, I have hark fruit, one of the ingredients for Sage's dream. Take it and go. All right, we're out of here. Azura's lamp is not a friend to Athelia, Pathwalker. 
All the relics work to subdue us. If it helps make a sage's dream, it is not to empower my reflection. No matter. My fate here is sealed, so what do I care? Take your heart fruit and leave me. A different reflection of Athelia accepted defeat. You seem not to be taking it as well. No shit. What a what a dumbass thing to say. Accepted. All that I am will soon vanish from reality. How could I possibly be comfortable with annihilation? No. I feel dread. Resentment. Anger. And totally ashamed by my obvious weakness. Who or what brought you to this point? When word arrived of Hermaeus Mora's plan for me, I crumbled. My followers are loyal, but they couldn't face down the combined might of the other princes. What resistance we presented was quickly crushed. Another testament to my weakness. What happens to now for you and your followers? Mora's army has surrounded the shrine and will soon pour in. I will have no choice but to let them imprison me. My followers may be locked away as well, or scattered across oblivion. It does not matter anymore. Let them come. All right. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk to her anymore. She's, 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 she's... This reflection seems resigned to her fate. Quite different from the other. Let her... This reflection has given up. But she has no plan, no hope for the future as the last one we met. The many paths show the consequences of every action. Mm. Every choice. Gather some hark fruit and we will leave this wretched path. You got that right, lady. We be out of here. I saw how to open a doorway. Let us return to the inn cellar. Yeah. Let's get out of here. This is the last path calling to mm. me. Use the lamp here, mortal. Like before, this path stirred up memories. I experienced the same dread before Hermaeus Mora's forces arrived. But I did not collapse like a coward. I commanded my Shardborn to resist, and they obeyed. The struggle, I recall, was epic. You remember more of the events leading to your imprisonment. I remember the armies of the other princes pounding on the doors to my shrine. My loyal Shardborn readying their weapons. The sounds of unrelenting battle. I recall the princes standing in judgment over me. Then, blackness. I think we're on the wrong side on this, you know? The last Athelia claimed that the Lamp of Clarity wasn't actually helping you. She is correct. I should not trust Azura's lamp. But it led us to two ingredients needed for a sage's dream. And now we have Tyramweed and Hark Fruit. One more and we can make the drink. And then I can regain control of my powers. I'm ready when you are. Step into the many paths once again, mortal. There we go. Hmm. Unbridled anger fills these halls. We have entered a war zone. Find the last ingredient, but be careful. Mora's forces breached the shrine on this path. These Shardborn battle for their very existence, and the Athelia of this realm's anger fills the air. I am safe from harm, but a mortal like you can die even when walking a different path. Be warned. Uh, basically, it means we gotta be careful. Eh, whatever. We 
got this. Yeah, easy peasy. I guess this is a fight now. Of course it is. It's always a fight. It's like what they say. This should help. Reality in this path is extremely fragile. It might shatter. Hurry. It's like they say, you know, in Star Trek, when I'm playing Star Trek Online, you know, my bridge officer goes, well, why is it every planet that we go to, everything wants to eat us or kill us? Mora's forces breached the shrine. All right, so let's, uh, let's just... this as a place filled with light and joy this is not that place nope Mora's forces breached the shrine on this path oh he's a big dude didn't turn out so well for you now did it mister knock yourself silly my runes are more powerful that's right uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. laser beam out We got him. Oh, I am so glad it's the weekend. Hermaeus Mora consumes this shrine. His response to the savagery of Athelia's defense. So basically, Daedric Princes... Mora's forces breached the shrine. Basically, Daedric Princes are not very nice. Me here. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Morrowind has her eye on you. We just gotta level. Gotta level. Do 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 do. Do do do. Yes, right, Mentera. Good girl. Alright, let's see what we got. What can we what can we level up? So basically right now I'm just leveling up the key points that she can use. Oh, Grace, yes. That, uh, that'll help. No, you must not bring that reflection any closer. Speak with me and I shall explain. Oh, this guy again? He's everywhere. Your Athelia, does she not sense it? The Athelia of this path, my prince, has lost herself. She has become the monster that Hermaeus Mora foresaw. If she cannot regain control, this reality is finished. Why does a mortal walk beside an Athelia? I need to make a sage's dream so my Athelia can control her power. Then I hope you succeed where I have failed. I tried to get my prince to calm down, but she lashed out at Morris' forces with her full fury. 
The more she fought, the more lost she became. Perhaps there is still a chance for you. How can I help? The lamp of clarity led us to two ingredients. I think the final ingredient is here. Why would? Oh, I understand. Azura's lamp wants to preserve your reality. By helping your Etheria regain control, she can be safely imprisoned again. The ingredient you need is close by. Loot berries. Hurry and take them before it is too late. Thanks. Flee while you can, mortal. Save your own life. Just spare a thought for this doomed path if you survive. I suspect we will not last much longer. I suggest you take the loot berries and run. Good luck. Oh, dang. That's the Athelia of this reality, of this path. Oh, she's like supercharged. She angry. She angry. What do you mean that your Athelia has become the monster Hermes Mora foresaw? Athelia is the fate changer, the unweaver. She has power unlike any other Daedric prince. The power to shift existence itself. Mora long suspected that Athelia was dangerous, but full of uncontrollable rage. Reality itself unravels around her. What happens then? The unimaginable. Can you contemplate what happens when reality shreds like parchment beneath a saber cat's claws? Nothing remains when existence ceases to be. All right, let's 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 get these berries and get the heck out of here. I sense this realm will not last much longer. The binds of reality have begun to fray. Hurry, mortal. Gather the loot berries, and I will open a way out of this place. Roger that. Mm. Mora dares. Damn his eyes! Every one of them! Oh, dang, she you met. wanted a monster. Behold the last tomorrow. Behold the destroyer of reality. Athelia chose uncontrolled rage. It will consume every piece of this reality. Oh, my fingers on the letter E. Oh, she gonna blow. We out of there. <laughs> Woo. Wow. There you are. Come here. I have an idea about the sage's dream. All right, let me dismiss. Bet you got to play with some instruments. Hmm. Dang, I'm tired. Did you get lost down here? Yeah, that happens to me sometimes too. That woman is back upstairs, sitting by the fire. So I came looking for you. I think I figured out how to make a sage's dream, even if we don't have the proper ingredients. No need to improvise. I have the proper, ingredi proper ingredients right here. What? You do? Well, that makes things easier. <laughs> I'm not sure where you got ingredients that no longer exist, but the good innkeeper knows when not to ask questions. Can you help me make the drink? I'll read from the recipe book while you do the rest. All right, but we're taking a break. It's break time right now, and we will be right back. Make sure you get some water, some snacks, and stretch, and so forth. We will be right back. All right, we are back. I hope everybody got a stretch, got some water, got some snacks, got themselves an adult beverage. I did. All right, let's 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 help this damsel in distress. I got a soft spot for that. All right, what should I do? I turned my alchemy stove into the finest experimental drink maker in Tamriel. You can be the first to try it. 
For each ingredient, we'll need to get the temperature just right. I'll call out for more or less heat. You turn the appropriate valve. All right, let's do this. First, place the tirum weave in the apparatus. Okay. Slowly apply heat to steep the tirum weave. Alright, it helps if these guys weren't in the way. Come on. No one ever. More heat. You know, I wish these people would dismiss their companions and their in their bears. Too hot. Reduce the heat. You burned that batch. We'll have to start over. Slowly apply heat to steep the tirum weave. You know what? I'm just going to do what they do. Stand right in front of them. Needs more heat. Too hot. Reduce the heat. That looks nicely steeped. Next, place the hawk fruit in the apparatus. No one ever wants. Oh come on! You know this is this is crap. The way they do this, and, and it's like these people need to get rid of their bears and dismiss their companions. Cause you know what? You know what? Where is it? There we go. Apply heat to liquefy the hawk fruit. Again, not too hot. Say the crap just gets all the, all over the place. Yeah, whoever designed this one quest, I don't like them. It needs to be hotter. You'll burn the fruit. Reduce the heat. The hot fruit looks properly reduced. Now add loot berries to the apparatus. You should chill the loot berries without freezing them. Come on.
perfectly chilled. Now, to blend the drink, two parts steeped tyrum weed and hot fruit juice for every one part of chilled loot berries. the exact amount of loot berries we need. That's the perfect amount of tyrum we don't add any more. Looks like a perfectly blended sage's dream. Pour the finished drink into that carafe. Now, grab the drink and take it to that strange woman. I'll meet you upstairs. Wow. Yeah, this this needs a this needs a rework. Yeah, you know. Dumbass warden and his fucking bear. All right. The next time you're helping me with something. Yes, I have a character that's a warden, and yeah, so. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah, that is a good whiskey. Uh, so my plan for the rest of the evening after I finish streaming is I'm going to set out on my little concrete patio pad that I have and sip my drink and just enjoy the sun going down and disconnecting do you have it we walked the many paths together and learned much mortal yet i still cannot control my power or clear the storm from my mind every path collides in this place if you have a sage's dream please place it on the table I wish to calm the chaos. I'd be like, well, can I at least get your phone number first? You know? I mean, it's kind of like kind of like a bonding process, you know, walking through all different realities. I mean, you don't just do that with like, you know, everyday person. I mean, come on, seriously. Abates, and I can clearly see the many paths. I can discern one reality from the next, and my mind is clear. I am myself again. I am Athelia, prince of paths and mistress of the untraveled road. You know, at this point in the story, they could have gone so much more involved and in depth on this so i'm sure i'm not the only person that feels like we're not being told the whole truth by hermaeus mora he is a daedric prince i mean the the floating eyeball dude and he's probably been lying to us or keeping things from us you know and and she's much more appealing What about the echoes and other strange things around the inn? Mm-hmm. I shall set things right. The echoes I dragged from disparate paths are free to return to their own realms and allow me to untangle the threads of fate and restore balance to this reality. I thank you, Pathwalker. And I am jealous of you. What? 
Why are you be jealous? We learned that every Athelia is dangerous. A broken creature that ends up hunted. We cannot change who we are. But mortals... You choose your paths. You don't need the powers of a Daedric Prince to alter your fate. I envy this. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, don't do that. That's rude. You know, you could say, you know, you could make Minthera like your champion on the mortal realm or even in the Daedric realm. You know, I mean, she does kind of kick ass for being immortal. Amortal, not immortal, but amortal. So I just, I just, mm, I have an issue with this story. You know? So. I, I think they did her wrong. I think they did her way wrong. Aww. Damn, I could use one of those for work. It's a pretty weak cry. All right, Minthera. Let's let's get out of here. Oh God, her. The, the old, pain is gone. The, the old crone. Of fate have untangled. What happened in there, Proxy? I ain't telling you shit, Laramil. You're a little, you're a little tattletale to Her Hermaeus Mora. I sense the knot in the threads of fate has untangled, Proxy. This threat to our reality has passed. Should I assume you are responsible? Tell me what occurred within the Outcast Inn. I ain't telling you crap, creepy lady. I wish they had more than two options like this one then like another one that said hey you don't need to worry about it it's all good you know let's, let's be realistic here guys come on you know you know they, they and this is what some of these games are missing these days it's like only only like goodbye and, and like she was here well, what if my character is starting to really question who's right and who's wrong and just like, you know, maybe Ithelia isn't bad, like Hermaeus Mora points out. Maybe she just needs some guidance. You know, I'm just, you know what, maybe I can just get away the goodbye. Nope. <clears throat> See, th this is weak. This is weak storytelling. And not to go down the negative path, but I'm just pointing out the difference. It's just kind of like, yeah, this is an MMO, but it's also RPG. And it's like with Baldur's Gate 3, they, they put those options in there where it's like, hey, maybe I don't want to disclose certain information and it leads into a bigger mess down the road. You know, they, they could have done it this way or that way. You know, play dumb. I sense the knot in the threads of fate has untangled, Proxy. I'll this be quiet. To our re if helping Athelia saved reality, then you made the right choice. But the Lamp of Clarity is a powerful relic. I am glad you found it. I would like to take the lamp to Baragon's townhouse for further study. May I have it? No, you may not. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Go away. I don't like you. 
I predicted that the tangled threads of fate were related to Athelia's release. But how could I know she was the direct cause? You have served the one who knows very well in this effort. Here is the reward I promised. Kind of weak. I must contact Hermaeus Mora and inform him that Athelia has regained at least some of her power. Do not take this as a slight against you. Helping her saved many lives. It was the correct thing to do. Oh, good. Uh, what will you do with the Lamp of Clarity? Take it to Skingrad for study. Azura's lamp was designed to hunt down Athelia and her minions. Knowing how best to utilize it must be my next priority. Please find me there when you are able. The Chosen of Fate still has much to do. See, I don't like that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Blast her. I feel like we're being manipulated here. All right. Let's, let's talk to the innkeeper, see how he's doing. You did it. Oh, that strange woman has left and taken the shadows with her. Ah, time to start running a regular inn again. Hmm, maybe I'll add the sage's dream to the menu. Uh, provided I can get some more of those ingredients. Uh, right, you, 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 good luck, buddy. Good, she's gone. We're gonna go pick a fight. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Cooked them, they're cooked. All right, uh, let's see where we need to go next. We will go. This way. Yeah. Kitty cat mount. Yeah. Yeah. So I, um, yeah. when we were on break, I went and checked on Avalanche Kitty Cat. He's he's doing okay. He's just trying to stay cool. It's 95 degrees outside, and he's inside, uh, laying on the linoleum floor upstairs where it's nice and cool. And uh, he did his normal, he's starting to do his normal stretches again. So. He's upstairs. He still doesn't have the coordination to walk down the stairs into, into the basement here. That's okay though. You know, I don't want him to fall down the stairs and get hurt. Even though I saw him saw him doing that he made it down about halfway and stopped as he saw me coming up he was just taking his time two paws at a time so he's, he's I think he's gonna be okay I am lots of prayers lots of good wishes for him so he's 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 my guy he is just an awesome cat you know uh, where do we need to go? Here? Now let's just bring this up. Okay.
Oh, let's see how we're doing on the zone. Really? Wow. This is a short chapter. So if we go to Apocrypha, they've got nine, nine main storylines in, in that, and this one's only five. as Tovani Peninsula and Apocrypha are all together. All right, so let's go here. If you have a weapon, I need a hand. Dang! Good. You came. After we finished at Hope Root, I raced to Feldegard Keep to warn them about the report we found. But as you can hear, the battle already rages on. If only we'd found that recollection report earlier. Daedric forces seek to overwhelm the Legion cohort defending the keep. The Legionaries here are capable, but there's something about this attack. We can't let the keep fall. I need to get inside and help them. What's so important about this keep? In addition to defending the major roads to the north and east, its proximity to the devastated area and the new forest make it integral to the protection of the Wheeled Heartland. What say you? Care to take a Legion commission and help me end this? Let's do it. We need to take stock of the situation before we head inside. Stumbling into a fight blindly never ends well. There's an overlook east of the keep. Locals usually run a small market there. We can get a good view of the keep from that location. Uh, what do you know about the attacking forces? I I'm not going to go through all these conversations. This... This one you should have watched last Friday's stream, and it tells you all about it. I did a little scouting before you arrived and immediately ran into a squadron of Daedra. Shardborn Dramora, from the looks of it. But other Daedra as well. Now I want to head to the Overlook and get a better view of the current situation. The Legion built the keep late in the First Era as part of Remen Cyrodiil's initial Imperial expansion. It's seen quite a few battles over the centuries. Now we use it to protect the trade roads and to keep an eye on the new forest. All right, let's do this. Let's at least get into position because we're running. I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. You go, Mary. That was an easy one. All prepared. We need to take stock of Right, so go ahead and stop talking to me. And am I lost? Yeah, I'm lost. Head to the market overlook. We'll take stock of the situation there. Right. Uh you leave. Alright, I'm 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 feeling pretty good at the moment, boys. That whiskey is, uh... Finally kind of taking root. And we're just gonna do a little more blasting. Oh, we might be able to put a point into our armor. 
or was it destruction destruction staff yep there we go nice it's always a bonus damn they breached the wall let's talk strategy comrade it's a pretty thick wall too Damn. The Daydrev surrounded the keep and breached the fort's outer wall. The situation is worse than I thought. We need to get in there and help them. Yeah, we're working on it. We are working on it. We're working on it. All right. Any idea how we get inside? The legionaries barricaded the area past the breach. Can't go through there. There's a side entrance to the southwest. It's obscured by overgrowth, so there's a good chance it hasn't been noticed. We'll try that way. Then we find Commander Marion. All right, who is he? Marion commands the troops stationed at Feldegard. He's stubborn, but has an excellent tactical mind. He'll know exactly how we can help once we get in there. All right. Let's go find our the way. The door is recessed between a gap and some rocks. I wouldn't call it a hidden entrance, but it's easy to miss if you don't know about it. I'll point it out. Once inside, we'll find Commander Marion. He'll tell us how we can help. Tough as forged iron and sharp as a rapier. I've seen him devise amazing strategies and accomplish seemingly impossible tactics. He loves Colovia and will defend it with everything he's got. With him in charge, those Daedra are in for a fight. Hmm. Let's... There it is. The door is behind that gap in the rocks. Stay alert while we look for Commander Marion. Commander, they're climbing over the walls. Uh, we can't. Ah! Tribune, praise the gods. We can use your help. He's up on the wall. How can we help, Commander? Stendar's blood. It's good to see you. We need all the swords we can get, and anyone traveling with Tribune Alea is always welcome in a fight. Those Daedra are pummeling us. I need something done to hold them back. You know, that guy's voice sounds very familiar. It sounds like uh, Captain Keys from Halo, Pillar of Autumn. So. The most immediate threat is that they are slipping in all over the keep. I need to contain them in one spot if I'm going to bring my forces to bear. If we slow their progress and cut off their entry points, they'll regroup at the breach in the wall. Since my soldiers are up to their ears in Daedra, you're gonna slow down the assault. Go around the keep and reset some traps that we planted. As you do that, burn the ropes those Daedra are using to climb over the walls. Got it. You'll have to cut down an enemy or two, no question. But your primary objective is to reset those traps and burn those ropes. My legionaries can handle the rest. After that, meet me in the main courtyard. If you have questions, make them quick. Really? Really? It should have just been said, aye, aye, Captain. Not, not this stupid shit. Tell me about the attackers. Really? Don't need to know about the attackers. They're Daedra, okay? They're hostile. How will resetting traps and burning ropes help exactly? That's stupid. Really? Really? Goodbye. Stupid shit. That'll stop any Daedra. If they have legs.
It's like, really? You don't need a freaking hand hold us on every single freaking conversation. It's Careful. like, you need those hands to fight. Quiet. I'm busy. Yeah. You know, it's 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 stupid. I think burning ropes and setting resetting traps is Didn't very Daedra could climb ropes. It is very self-explanatory. Yeah, traps to contain somebody or surprise somebody or hold somebody in place or something. Really? Come on. Now you want a really hard ass game to play that that, that gets your blood elevated and where you're That's all of the traps. <laughs> I hope they hurt. Where where you're screaming at the computer, Elden Root. Elden Ring. Elden Ring, sorry. Elden Ring. Oh my god, that game is so freaking hard. I'm like 12 hours in, probably died 120 times easily. So that, my friends, is a hard ass game. All right, so let's finish burning the root ropes. You know, after we've done this, I uh, hope this makes them mad. Oh, quiet. Her and her stupid ass commentary. I think what I'm gonna do after we finish this expansion pack in ESO, I'll probably stream Elden Ring on Fridays. And uh, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. I, I think yeah, we missed some ropes. Are they reset? Yeah, we missed some ropes up here. Mm. You know, because. Honestly, that's all the ropes I can see. Good work. Uh, honestly, in Elder Scrolls Online, I really don't worry about, you know, going kaput or splat in the game. I really don't. Commander, the ballista's destroyed. They'll breach the courtyard soon. Blasted, clever Daedra. Meet me in the courtyard. Yeah, I really don't like your arm. But Elden Ring? Holy crap. I hate that game. I absolutely hate that game. But I like playing it because it's such a hell of a challenge. The handle the Daedra. We need to reach the commander. Hey. We reset the traps and burn the ropes. That should. Hey, you just stand by and be comedian comic support. We'll guard this passage and fend off any Daedra. The courtyard is through those doors. No shit. I am finding, I'm following the damn icon, okay? Got him here. Get that ballista in working order. Mercenary, you get the fun part. We thought those barricades would hold longer. Those blasted Daedra broke through when our backs were turned and damaged our last ballista. My legionary set up another barricade, but it may not last for long. That's where you come in, mercenary. If the Daedra can't get close to the barricade, they can't knock it down. So we'll set it on fire. My legionaries already brought up oil. I need you to pour it over the barricade. 
Soak it well, then come back here. Tribune Alea will repair the ballista while you douse the barricade in oil. Once it's ready, launch a flaming bolt in... I gave you an order, mercenary. Get to it. Grab that bucket of oil first. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're in a freaking combat zone. Now pour the oil around the barricade. You, you got your marching orders. Just throw the damn icons up where we're supposed to pour the oil and let us get to it. Man, it's like holding our hands on every stage. Tribune, take a look out. Mercenary, finish repairing the ballista. The parts are by the back wall. Commander, I see two legionaries trapped outside the barricade. Well, they're kind of SL, SOL. Artie is coming down. All right, so we got one on the right, one on the left. That did it. Now arm that ballista, target the oil, and set it ablaze. Fire in the hole. That should hold them back. Now crush those Daedra. Come on. Waiting. No! We lost the legionary. I really don't like your odds. Ooh, nice hit. Come on, reload, fire! Nice targeting, mercenary! Get ready for the next wave! Right about there. We lost the legionary. I don't There's want to hurt Daedra. you, but now I'm going to. Nothing I can do about them. Keep it up. I see another wave approaching. Target locked. That's it for the ballista. They're coming Tribune, for us. Tribune, look sharp. Daedra emerging through the north door. With me, comrade. All right, let's 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 light them up. Oh my god, just be quiet, please. Ugh. We crushed the Daedra's frontal assault and stopped them from getting past the living quarters. The bear this attack is mud. Let's just get on with it, okay? You know? How are the bears holding the Daedra? Yeah, how'd that turn out for you, mister? Not very well. All right. We're gonna go left. Oh, nice. Ballista storage. See that lift? It brings them up into the courtyard. That's kind of cool. I refuse. I don't care what you refuse or whatever. Let's just get this crap done and over with, you know? Less talk and more blasting. You know, that's the whole point. 
That thing go very well did it for you. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ready oh, just move out of his way. All right, come on, Mary. This is like a, this is like a cakewalk for you and I, you know. Near the armory. Let's hope they haven't found it. They brought their own. They've got their own weapons. Duh. Did go so well, did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I refuse. I don't care what you refuse. Come on, fire. Okay, good, good. We're getting some levels, We're getting some levels in our skills. All right. Oh yeah, easy peasy. We got this. All right, I think we can get this done in three minutes. Got to give my kitty cat some attention. I think I'm getting good at this. Probably shouldn't be proud of that. Right? Uh, let's see. I think we go. Do we go down? Oh, I'm just following the icons, you know? The armory's just through those doors. Be ready for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That so must be their commander. Keep low. Take your forces and capture the keep. I will gather reinforcements in Miramor. As you command, Shard Marshal Vargas. We need to talk, comrade. I wondered when Shard Marshal Vargas would turn up again. I still owe her for Rustwall. And she has a new sword. Did you see how it opened a portal? Brought in reinforcements from someplace she called Miramor. We need to take that blade. Usually, I'd leap the railing and rush into battle, but who knows what else that blade can do? I'd rather not be turned into a mud crab or something. Let's split up. If we attack her from two sides, we'll split her focus. Then we can take her down. Go around the side to that gateway across from here. I'll distract the commander, then you attack and grab the blade. It's important we do this before she opens another portal. If reinforcements come through, we'll have a bigger fight on our hands. I could still leap this railing and rush her if you think that would work. No, let's stick with the plan I outlined. Once you're in position at the gateway, I'll distract the Shard Marshal. Let's do this. Some oblivion? All right, enough fucking talking. Jesus. All right, so we have to go with this plan. Otherwise, the damn thing will bug out. And I hope you're watching. I'm kind of busy right now taking out bad guys. Attack! You dare! Give me that blade, Vargas. Take a bolisher if you can, mortal. Is that the best you got? Please. Oh. 
really? Even Mary is getting some shots in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. She called the blade Abolisher. It's all yours, comrade. Abolisher will be mine again, mortals. We shall definitely meet again. Really? Who just got their ass kicked and is exiting via a portal? We're gonna explore this area first. Yeah. 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 That looks like Fargrave. Hmm. The rock formations, the structure. Looks like Fargrave. Let's talk to the uh perhaps I'll ask about the portal later. Right now I want to know if the keep is secure. You give the report, comrade. The battle out here appears to be over except for a few straggling Daedra. Are we in the clear? What did you find in the barracks? And how did you wind up emerging from a portal? Uh the Daedra were using portals under the keep to bring in reinforcement. The path has been closed, Commander. Portals under the keep. That's an unexpected tactic. But I'm glad you and the Tribune took care of it. Without reinforcements, the remaining Daedra shouldn't pose too much of a problem for my legionaries. So, Felgar to keep is safe for now? As safe as can be expected. We are a military installation, after all. We'll wipe out the remaining Daedra, then begin rebuilding the keep. I expect Tribune Alea will want a final word or two with you before you go. Do you think the Daedra will attack again? After this beating, who can say? Daedra don't behave in any rational way that I ever noticed. But we'll shore up the barricades, rebuild the wall. And there's always my tried and true methods. Fire and traps. Always go with proven tactics, I say. All right. You didn't hesitate to leap through the portal after me. You do this sort of thing pretty regularly, don't you? Pretty much. Shard Marshal Vargas got away, though. That's on me. I swear I'll get her next time. But that place... The sky looked like cracked glass. Heard Shard Marshal Vargas call it Miramar. Miramar. What a desolate place. Do the Shardborn come from there? Maybe Baragon or Laramil can tell us more. We should also have them examine the blade. What did Vargas call it? Abolisher. Huh. Mm. Would it be all right if I took the sword to them? You've earned it. I'll help bury the dead and then take Abolisher to Skingrad. Maybe Laramil or Baragon can make sense of it. I want you to know I appreciate your help here, comrade. Take this and consider your commission with the Legion over. For now. Right, okay. Let's keep news about Abolisher between us until we're back in Skingrad. I don't want thieves or recollection agents to get any ideas while I'm traveling. Return to Baragon's townhouse as soon as you can. I have a feeling this is far from over. Me too. A sense that things are going to get worse before they get better. Recollection cultists prowling the region, mm. Daedra boldly attacking the keep, magical blades that open portals as easily as I can open a door. Something bigger is coming. I know it. All right. Bring up the map. This is going to be a very good place to stop for the evening.
All right, so we're gonna Did you hear the king of Vashabar? He's the leader of the recollection I knew the right. Vashabar oh, would help to blame for all this All right, let's go talk to everybody now and you're back good I made some progress with the Hope Root map. Let's talk. I'm still deciphering the map from Hope Root. I can't yet make sense of all the notes, but I figure that any location marked on the map must be important to the recollection. How did your investigations go? Pretty well. We recovered the Lamp of Clarity and a blade called Abolisher. You've been busy, friend. Hmm. Did you learn anything at Feldegard Keep and the Outcast Inn that might clear up the last nagging questions I've got about the Hope Root map? Tell me what happened. You helped Athelia remember herself? Isn't that what the Recollection is trying to do? I suppose you had a good reason, but still. Well, you know, several realities were entangled. Helping Athelia was the least dangerous thing to do. Entangled realities? A strange tale, friend. That's a problem rather beyond my experience. I'm glad you were there to sort things out. And you recovered a lamp? Sounds like some sort of relic. It might be important. You think? God, what a dumbass. I fought off Shardmaster Vargas at Feldar Keep and acquired the Blade of Abolisher. So, the planned attack on Feldegard Keep was with Daedric forces, not the Recollection? A good thing you were there to help Tribune Alea defend the fortress. And that blade you acquired. Any sword with a name must be important. Right. As I hoped, your account explains these last few marks on the Hope Root map. Not only were the inn and the keep noted, there's another site the Recollection's interested in, an alien ruin called Neriostere. We need to investigate that ruin next. Neriostere lies in the western Colovian hills. It's rather dilapidated and haunted. I had a harrowing experience there back when I was actively adventuring. Laramil wants to speak with you. Talk to her, then meet me at Neriostere. It was a long time ago. Neriostere was too dangerous for the band I was with. In addition to traps, the alien ruin was full of undead guardians. But the worst obstacles were the collapsed passages and buried doors. The recollection won't... All right, enough of him. All right, let's talk to this old crone. The permutations of fate created a high probability that you'd... Um, mm -hmm. I would like to talk about the relics I heard you describe to Barricon. The Lamp of Clarity and Abolisher are two of the relics once used to defeat and imprison Athelia. Exactly. Abolisher, forged by Boethia to cut a path to Athelia wherever she walks. The Lamp of Clarity created by Azura to illuminate the many paths, and the skein of secrets, woven by Mathala to show where Athelia and the Unseen could be found. No, we do not. Torvasad told us in Mathala's nest that the skein was lost in an alien vault. Given the recollection's interest in Neriostere, I think we know which one. It's obvious to destroy them. Torvasad used Abolisher to open the way to Athelia's prison. He knows the relics can be used to return her there, and will do anything to prevent that. These ancient tools may be the keys to saving Westweald, and perhaps all of reality. The blade, the lamp, and the skein counted Athelia's power in ancient times. I think they can do so again. You and Baragon are fated to seek the skein of secrets in Neriostere. I have my own tasks, and shall find you when it is time to finish this. All right, goodbye. All right, so we're going to end that here right now for tonight. Tomorrow night, we're going to be doing Baldur's Gate 3 on Reyna. 
and uh, at 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So I appreciate everybody that's come out tonight and everybody that's uh, hung out, chilled, relaxed, and so forth. And appreciate you all. And that is going to be a wrap. So I hope everybody has a good night. And that's a wrap.